President Obama said this morning that the Brussels attacks are another reminder the world must unite against the scourge of terrorism. Juan Zarate is our senior national security analyst. He joins us from Salt Lake City. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Juan, uh, Hillary Clinton said on this broadcast this morning, she said, I don't know that Europe has yet to fully come to grips with the ISIS threat. Is there a problem in Europe? Well, certainly there's a material problem. The fact that you have terrorist networks uh, operating openly in Europe right under, under the noses of authorities uh, during a heightened state of alert and able to then perpetrate strategic attacks in Paris, in Brussels, in the heart of Europe. And so there is a material problem about the ability to actually ferret out and disrupt these networks. You also have to ask the question, are they acting with the urgency and purpose uh, that aligns with what President Hollande of France has talked about in terms of being at war. Uh, is Europe really at war with ISIS? And, and I think that the answer to that is no. Uh, they, they are talking in those terms, but clearly they're not acting in that way. And so really is a fundamental question about what do we do, not only about preventing these kinds of attacks in the heart of Europe, but disrupting ISIS's ability to continue to adapt and quicken the pace of their attacks well outside of Iraq and Syria. But Juan, what do you make of the location and the timing of these particular attacks today? Well, Brussels is a key target, uh, Gail. You've got Brussels being the heart of the European Union. It's where NATO is, is, is uh, based. Uh, it's, it's symbolically the heart of the European uh, enterprise. And so this is a key target and hub. In addition, we know that uh, Belgium is a hot spot of radicalization and terrorism. The highest per capita foreign fighters come uh, from Belgium. And we know that you've had groups like Sharia for Belgium that for years have been radicalizing youth and others uh, there in Belgium. And so there's a target of opportunity. There's great symbolism. And the disruptive effects of bringing, a, in essence, Europe's capital to its knees is incredibly uh, valuable to a group like ISIS, a huge propaganda victory. And at, the airport, and at the airport and the subway station, two, two very soft targets where everyday people go every single day. Absolutely right. So a target-rich environment where a lot of innocents can be killed, uh, a, a source of great terror, uh, but also a, a source of great disruption for uh, Belgium, Brussels, uh, and the economy, uh, not just there, but in Europe and globally. And so. Uh, it's a major one-two punch for the Islamic State to be able to perpetrate simultaneous attacks in Brussels, especially in the wake of the November Paris attacks. Juan, well, want to update our viewers on this ongoing security threat that still exists in Brussels first. U.S. law enforcement sources confirming that there was an unexploded device, possibly a suicide vest or belt, that was found at the airport. What does that suggest to you? Nora, this will feed the suspicion and concern that there are other operatives who are a part of this network who may or may not have wanted to perpetrate attacks, may have dropped off the operatives and then left. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, potential other weaponry that was there that wasn't used, a Kalashnikov rifle uh, that may have been part of a, another set of attacks. And so and major you... questions about what uh, this network was trying to do. And no doubt authorities were are looking at surveillance cameras to try to determine if they've accounted for all the people that may have been a part of this attack. And on that note, too, the wires reporting this morning that Belgium's nuclear reactor has been evacuated except for core operating staff. How worried are they about that as a potential target threat? Nora, this is a, a chilling uh, development, in part because in February, uh, Belgian authorities discovered that a Belgian a nuclear official had been surveilled by known terrorist operatives. And in fact, surveillance video of that official was found in the home of a convicted terrorist, uh, perhaps even tied to the Paris attacks. And so this lends itself to the concerns that ISIS is adapting very quickly, looking for key vulnerabilities and even potentially considering how to use dirty bombs, weapons of mass destruction. We've seen in Iraq and Syria that they've used chemical weapons. We know they have a chemical weapons unit. Uh, and so the concern over ISIS developing quickly a desire and an appetite for the use of weapons of mass destruction has to be a chilling moment for Europe. Uh, and certainly, I think the Belgian authorities are going to take every prophylactic step possible to protect their infrastructure and their research sites. All right, Juan, the more you hear, the scarier it gets. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank I had you. another eyewitness share what it was like to be near one of the bombs when it went off. But first, it is 46 minutes past the hour. It's time to